In the early 80s and the late 90s, a brand was born from Southern California. This brand was Susie. Come along now, brothers and sisters, open up your mind, don't be making a vista. Give a little love, show a little kindness. Too much pushing and shoving and too much blindness. Don't be a snack, yeah, sucker or a racist. It's real life, and you know we gotta save this. Make it last, and do the best that we can. To save the world before they hit the fight, I gotta be with a limit to match. It's kind of your attention, I'll be sure to catch. To make us think, I'm gonna think about something. Make it a little brag and be right about nothing. So let me your ears, and I'll sing you a song. Open your eyes, it's a time to be strong. Don't lose your grip, I can hit a label that grew up organically from youth movement and revolutionized the business of casual brand. The creator, Sean Susi, was a surfer who used to shape his own boards for uh, friends and uh, locals in Laguna Beach, California. Pants and shirts and jackets and hats. It's basically baseball caps and, sh and t-shirts and jeans. There's some corduroys, yes. There's leather jackets. There's a lot of hats. Sean set up small showrooms in uh, California and New York where he teamed up with uh, James Jabia, the creator of Supreme, showing his design to stores he respected. A lot of people collect them, you know, like if, say, like, you know, like these, you know, there's 10 colors, and a lot of people buy every single color, you know. And then as soon as there's, a, I mean, as soon as there's something new, they get all of them colors. I mean, we, we sell hundreds of them a week. Come along now, brothers and sisters. Here is a Susie Drive hat, wool two tone hat. Susie's is dope. Susie's cool. Fully fake, man. They're hot. Hot. He's hot. Susie began screening t shirts and shorts for sale along with um, the boards as a sort of promotion. Now it's a uniform in all high schools. I mean, it's basically for surfers who aren't surfers who want casual, comfortable clothes at an inexpensive price. His surname, written in a graffiti influenced and style, uh, became the logo of the company. The late 70s gave us punk, the 80s gave us a new form of music called rap. Punk broke creative and aesthetic barriers and rap pushed social boundaries. These new ideas and territories create a modern platform for fashion and cultural expression. A tribe, I don't know, I just think it was on a much more earthy tip than a posse. You know, this wasn't a big posse of badass people. A tribe was a very... Go to school for marketing, merchandising, or production. We spend hardly any money on advertising. I mean, if you spend two million on advertising and you don't make any money that year, I'd rather make them two million dollars and have no advertising. Fortunately, word of mouth is free. If one guy loves those pairs of jeans and ten other guys come by, and if they take them home and they're... New York to London, from Tokyo to LA, and this group of friends became the International Stussy Tribe. The best clothes to be worn, the best clothes to be seen, the best clothes to be kept clean. What's, What's up, up? Stussy is the number one action without no satisfaction. How can you do this? Surf, 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 who surfs in London? No one, but you still look bad running Stussy. <laughs> Susi was committed to producing relevant, good quality clothing at a reasonable price in very selected stores worldwide in 
very limited quantities. The chassis one. Talking about the world of change. is the most iconic brand of the last three decades and inspires most of the Twitter brand that we wear today. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you do, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and see you next time, ciao belli.